What is going on, apes? What is going on, ape army? We've got a lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about what's been going on, the latest updates on AMC stock, what I expect to happen tomorrow, what I would like to see happen tomorrow, or actually what we need to see happen tomorrow in order to get this party started. We're going to try to make this video as short as possible, so stick around because we're going to be starting right now. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If you're new here and you want to learn how to use stocks and options to make your portfolio go parabolic, make sure you start now by subscribing and tapping that bell so you never miss an upload. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're up 14.8% on the day and 2.16% in the after hours. That's like 16 point something percent. My math's not very good. Maybe 16.24. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but we're going to move right along. We've got some SEC news to talk about to me really right now. It's not that big of a deal. It kind of is. We're starting to see that the SEC is, well, at least pretending that they're interested in doing something to help the retail investor, as they claim. But you know what? In my opinion, this isn't going to do too much for us in the short term. This may be something that helps out later, maybe with some other stocks, or this may be something that turns out to be a positive for us after we see the short squeeze happen in AMC stock, but I don't think that it's going to actually be a catalyst in doing anything for us. I think it's going to take something big. And right now, I think that the SEC is well, I don't think, I think, I know that the SEC is well aware of what is going on. And I honestly, my honest opinion is that they do not give a crap. The SEC, if they wanted to do something, they would have already done something. They're just having to, you know, basically put out some generic response out there because of all the attention that this is drawing. So basically, you know, they're coming up with their little BS statement about, oh, we're going to protect the retail investors. Okay, thank you so much, SEC. You guys are my heroes. You might as well put on a cape and a Superman t-shirt because, you know, you're helping us out. We do see that uh, there was a an article that came out today talking about some proposal from the SEC. We're going to get into that very quickly, but again, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because right now, to me, this is all garbage and them just trying to, you know, just taking action because they're having to take action, but nothing that's really going to do anything for us until, you know, we do something for ourselves. Right now, apes, we are at war. This is a war between us and them. The 1% versus the 99%. Which means that, you know what, even though there is 99% versus that one, we are still the minority here. And we have to all be on the same page, synchronized, fighting together against the evil institutions. Otherwise, there's nothing. We might as well sell out right now because it makes us some sellouts to not be banding together during a time like this. Now, this isn't the first time that this has happened. We've had the whole GameStop situation. We've had some other short squeezes that weren't quite as notable, but you know, they're pretty cool. And this is our next big opportunity to really make a difference, to make a change, and to turn all of this crap around to stop these institutions dead in their tracks. This is a movement. The apes are a movement. I want you to make sure that you understand that. I know that most of you do, but we are also looking for newcomers. We're looking for new members that don't quite understand what's going on. So I'm trying to explain that to where everybody understands what's going on and what's needed of each and every single one of us. If you get into this movement, if you decide to participate and you buy shares of AMC stock, then you need to follow through with it. Hold your shares. Do not sell them no matter what, which means you cannot have paper hands. You cannot be selling when the stock goes down. This is going to be a very volatile stock. We're going to see moves up. We're going to see big moves down. It does not matter, which brings me to my next point. And that is that you need to be comfortable with your position, which means that you do not need to be leveraged in any way you do not need to spend more money than you're comfortable with losing because there is that possibility that you may not profit from this you could actually 
<laughs> lose all of your investment, which isn't very likely. It's not likely at all that you're going to lose all of your investment. There's some type of chance that you could lose part or a significant portion of your investment. Be prepared for that, which means only put in what you can handle because if you decide to back out on us, on the apes, well, we just can't trust you and you're kind of screwing everybody over. So if you're going to be part, you know, part of this movement, only put in what you can afford because doing that, you're helping us out more than putting in too much and then having to sell out because it actually hurts the movement. It hurts us. It's really not what we're looking for. So make sure that whatever you're signing up for, you pretty much keep your obligation to the rest of your apes because the apes are your friends. We are your family. The institutions are not. So last thing I'm going to say about this topic before we move on and actually discuss what we needed to discuss in this video is this. Okay. In terms of your portfolio, size is the prize, swole is the goal, it's gains a clock and efforts. Let's go. Okay, so to discuss this article, so basically today we see this article about FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, in case you didn't know. And this is Wall Street's self-regulatory body. And they've proposed changes to its short interest reporting requirements in a bid to make information more useful, or at least that's what they claim. And the proposed changes have to do with Rule 4560, which would increase the frequency of short interest reports from twice a month, which is what we're getting now, to weekly or even daily. So this is what they've given us. They say weekly or even daily. We don't know which one it's going to be, but, you know, that's all we can get for now. And the change would require that clearing firms are going to be reporting synthetic short exposure, which is bets made against shares through derivatives and in firm and customer accounts. This move highlights intensifying scrutiny of short selling, which is betting against shares to profit if they actually fall, which doesn't seem to be happening right now to stocks like AMC, and I wonder why. It's because the ape movement has been very strong. We need to keep it going, my apes. But uh, amid all this ongoing volatility in these meme stocks, as they call them, which are driven by retail investors that are banding together to squeeze hedge funds that bet against GameStop, which is GME, and AMC Entertainment Holdings and other stocks. That's what these little suckers write. But the changes would also require clearing firms to report to FINRA certain information on the stock loans that facilitate short bets for regulatory purposes, but with an eye toward eventual public dissemination amid other changes. They're saying that these potential changes could improve the usefulness of short sale related information to FINRA, other regulators, investors, and other market participants. FINRA is an industry financed self regulatory organization overseen by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC. The SEC is your friend. Hell no, they're not. Do not ever forget that. The apes are your friends. The SEC is never your friend. These little jerks are just simply uh, pretending to care because that's what they have to do. That's their job is to pretend to care about us retail investors. But normally when we hear crap about them, you know, fighting for the retail investor or protecting the retail investor, they're really just watching out for their own ass and protecting their own ass not us. They do not care about us. They do not care about our money. They do not care about the wealth of your children, ladies and gentlemen. What we're fighting for today in this movement is the wealth of our children, okay? We want to create generational wealth, and this is our opportunity to do so. And don't you ever forget that, because if you do forget that, if you lose sight of what you're fighting for, well then you've doomed us all because you're not going to be fighting in the way that you need to fight. Sometimes the fight is more important than the money that we're going to get from it. There is that chance, like I just explained, that you may not profit from this, but being in the fight and fighting with all of your might will definitely benefit us and benefit your children and their wealth in the future. And that is our ultimate goal is to make a change. So all of this crap stops to where these institutions are 
shorting stocks, destroying companies, destroying families, destroying lives, keeping children from being able to eat because, you know, there's some evil bastards. And uh, to my children, I would call these people monsters. So that should give you some type of idea. Anyhow, these proposed changes, which are subject to public consultation, would likely increase the burden on clearing firms and prime brokers, or at least that's what they say, who bear the primary responsibility for short interest reporting under the current requirements. That's what FINRA wants you to believe. We're going to believe it when we see it. The agency currently collects and publishes this data but it is not easy for many investors to access. This proposal seeks to address that. Let me tell you, it's not that it's, well, actually it is. It is that we can't access it because the information that we get right now is just garbage. The data that we have right now is garbage. We can't even trust it. It's manipulated. It's not a whole image of what we're looking for. We do not get a clear picture because we do not get the entire picture. We get bits and pieces, and we really don't even know what to make of it. We're just trying to kind of piece it all together, and a lot of assumptions are made, which means that sometimes we can be wrong. So this is why all of this is important. This is why this fight is important, because we need to have the best possible chance that we can possibly get when we're fighting against these institutional fillers that have way more advantages than we do obviously and uh you know we're pretty much handicapped when we're going against them but you know whatever that is the way of the world right now and that's why we're fighting to change all of that so that's the sec update that i was telling you guys about which like i said is not very material for us so what we do actually need to talk about is what we would like to, well, what we need to see from AMC stock tomorrow. But one of the possibilities for us tomorrow is that the stock just consolidates. Maybe it moves a tiny tad bit or slightly higher and consolidates from there. Or we get that break of $60, which we really, really, really need to see. And then we go up even further and then potentially test new highs, or I'm sorry, test the old highs and then hit some new highs, assuming that we break the old highs. And from there, I mean, we're on a rocket ship to the moon, to Mars, to Pluto, wherever it is that your heart desires that you would like to go, that's where we're going to go. I promise you that. But if that does not happen, we're probably going to consolidate. Hopefully, we do not drop because that would suck. And if we drop, well, you know, we're going to be heading slightly lower, maybe uh, testing that $50 level. And uh, hopefully, we can hold that up because it would suck to go below that because then we're kind of, you know, looking at a uh, little bit more danger in this trade. But what I personally think we're going to see is either some consolidation or potentially a move up. Now, we are due for a gamma squeeze kind of uh, kind of soon. We've got more options expiring on the 11th, which is why these uh, hedgies are going to try to pull us down even more. If you checked out the price action of today, you saw that early in the morning, you know, we were making great moves. We even almost hit $60.00. But we didn't quite get there, which is why it's so important that we get there as soon as possible. And the faster or the sooner that we can do that, you know, the the faster we can expect to reach our uh, targets of breaking through the previous highs and then, you know, hitting new highs. But all in all, I think we are in pretty decent shape. This is not... Uh, financial advice. This is not a recommendation to buy. I am not a financial advisor. If you're taking advice from me, which you know I am an ape, it would mean that you're taking advice from a wild animal and you would be pretty stupid to do so. Okay, I am an animal. I am an ape. Do not take advice from me. Do not consider this to be any type of financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking about in this uh, ape-like head of mine, 
and what I'm wanting to see out of this stock in order for us to move up again. Um, I do think it's coming. I mean, I think the the squeeze is inevitable. I think that, you know, since we do not have data or pro appropriate or proper data to show us exactly what's going on, to give us a clear picture, and like I said, we have to make assumptions, we can only rely on certain things, and that would be, you know, like price action. The price action tells us exactly what's going on. But, you know, we do see these hedgies every time that, you know, we get to a level that we need to break through they come in with their short ladder attacks and you know sleazy tactics to try to bring us down but let me just say this the apes have been relentless the apes have been buying up everything every single share that's been being thrown on the market the apes have been taking names after they kick butt. I mean, I couldn't be more proud to be part of this movement because you guys have been absolutely killing it. It's just absolutely phenomenal to be part of this movement, to be fighting alongside these apes. And it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something important, something valuable, something that's going to make a difference for my children. So thank you, apes, for putting up the fight of uh, a lifetime and allowing me to be part of it because you know i'm just your humble ape friend family member whatever you want to look at me as but regardless of how you look at me the facts will remain intact we will be fighting together i will fight alongside you apes in this battle and hopefully we're going to go on to win the war while I have you here, I wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new First Trade app, available for mobile or PC. The platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools, and allows you to trade with less restrictions, zero commissions, zero fees, and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money. This will greatly help out the channel, and is always appreciated. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Congrats ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you watched, make sure you subscribe, because I put out videos just like this one every single day. And please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left-hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end, and I will see you guys in the next video.